Minister for Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Honorable Dr. Erna Soler, is looking forward to piloting the Community Tourism Bill at the next sitting of Parliament. Honorable Hilaire says creating a progressive legislative environment is critical as the ministry is set to roll out the Community Tourism Initiative at the start of the financial year with renewed vigor. Moreover, a pending review of the Tourism Development Act will enable institutional support for tourism sectors other than the hotel accommodation subsector. Honorable Dr. Hilaire made the pronouncement at the quarterly meeting of the Tourism Advisory Committee held on 1st March 2022. And the new legislative framework will have to provide support for all the various sectors to thrive. We have to be able to identify which sectors that will be reserved for solutions and which are open for international investment. We have to be able to say precisely which sectors that have been historically disadvantaged and must get more support compared to those that are probably well established. So the legislation will certainly be a very progressive piece of legislation. The concept of community tourism, Honorable Hilaire notes, is not new to St. Dusha. However, government is formalizing the activities already taking place in communities across the island that offer visitors a truly authentic St. Lucian experience. The initiative, he adds, provides a space for cottage industries, artisans, and other creatives to flourish. The minister is keen to see the development of historical tours and cultural productions that cruise passengers can enjoy during their limited stay on island. We want to be able to showcase what is St. Lucian, you know, but we also have to start by preparing our people for that because a lot of work has to be done to prepare our communities, prepare our own people to accept that the tourism industry is an opportunity for them. It is not something that they should shun away from, something that they should, um, you know, hit out against because they feel they're not part of it. We're going to say to them, you can be part of it, we will help you be part of it, and here is the help we can give you to be part of it. We have successful and, um, community initiatives already. Look at Labry. I mean, Labry probably has about 200 home accommodation beds. Labry, and a tremendous experience over the years um, that they've put together a kind of community you know, framework that, that really promotes community tourism. We will work with them to make it even better. St. Lucia is a participating country in the World Bank financed program titled Unleashing the Blue Economy of the Caribbean, UBEC. It is designed to enhance the economic capacity and infrastructure of coastal communities. Honorable Dr. Ernest Siller says the program provides an opportunity for the Community Tourism Initiative to expand and create new niche markets for the island, especially in the dive sector. And we have a number of initiatives that will be undertaken um, from establishing more dive sites. Uh, we have plans to establish an underwater sculpture park um, that will be a major feature. One of the advantages of coming late is that those who are before you, you can now do it better than them. So, so Matnik has won, Grenada has won. Uh, we're hoping that ours will be even better than, than their two. Um, we'll be doing a lot of work in rehabilitation of coral reefs. We'll be training young people to be divers and to help um, men coral reefs and to, to upgrade the, 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 the beachfront, the coastlines. Um, we have a few ideas we got from different stakeholders about how we can better manage the marine areas around St. Lucia. The ethos driving the government's thrust towards community tourism, Minister Hiller says, is centered on having all St. Lucians benefit from the industry. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.